Welcome to this edition of Dufferin Life. I'm your host, Tina Avery. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm really excited about my two guests that are joining me today. They're, they're talking about an event that's going to happen um, in Dufferin County that we've never had before. It's, um, it's phenomenal. I'm excited. I don't want to give it away, so I'm going to introduce them. So joining me is Kelly. Um, Kelly, tell us what the event is. So the event we are introducing in August 2024 is the Dufferin Film Festival. It, Amazing. It will be the first film festival hosted in Dufferin. Um, we've planned it very strategically over the last few months and we're very excited to bring it next year. Wonderful. Jennifer, tell me a little bit about what we can expect or what, what we're working towards. Well, it's going to be two days of film, film, films. <laughs> so a combination of uh, short films, feature films, but we're also going to have a lot of other events. Uh, we're going to have opening night, we have some restaurants helping us out in town, and um, industry summits. Uh, so it's going to be an event for filmmakers and for people that just love uh, films. And here's a little thing for you. I just called Christine Jennifer, <laughs> um, and we're not cutting. We're just going to keep yeah. on going. So no. I'm so sorry, Christine. We're professional. I, I, I Yes, and if, it's fine. It's fine. Yes, and I was like, oh my goodness! It came out of my mouth, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> well, Christine is a very '70s name too. Jennifer, you know, it's fine. It's, it's good. We're so good. I do apologize. <laughs> we're good. We're good. But ladies, I'm going to ask before we get into a little bit more detail about the film festival itself. Um, just tell me a little bit about you and and, and your involvement in the film festival and and how. Yeah. So uh, basically my partner and I were discussing film festivals because we work in the film industry. Um, my partner owns Rose Digital Media Group and we work in film production locally. And we had attended a film festival and we just felt it was lacking, the festival we had attended. And then we started talking about Dufferin itself and its arts and culture community, mm -hmm. that it's very event and festival based. This yes. community is tourism based and it hosts a lot of films. And yes. it has hosted a lot of films of mm -hmm. varying size. It just seemed like the right fit. So for about nine months, I've been researching the area, talking to tourism bodies and different organizations in the community to see what was really viable. Okay. And it really was a great fit. The timing fits well within the schedule of our events in town, as well as the schedule of other festivals that are happening, film festivals. So, That is amazing. Christine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your involvement in getting all this underway. So I'm really fortunate to have met uh, Kelly and Nick. Um, I'm a filmmaker as well and so I've been helping them out with uh, some of their productions um, and so yeah and I have an event management background as well marketing and social media so uh, yeah so when I met them and when Kelly you know explained the idea I thought yeah I, I gotta be involved with this this is gonna be amazing yeah and you know what it definitely is and, and just it, with you touching upon the amount of different types of artists that we have in Dufferin County um, not just film or acting um, you know there's potters there's you know there's painters there's I can't there's weavers there's so like there's so many different groups and people and, and that will turn around and maybe they're not into film, but they will support other artists as well. And I think that's uh, where we, we strive and where we, um, we really excel as a community. And where we can grow as a community too, because mm -hmm. even in working in film, you're con I'm constantly reaching out to mm -hmm. other artists, um, people that craft, people that write, mm -hmm. to try to incorporate local community members that work in the arts and culture mm -hmm. to add into our films. Because why not use local people in this local energy, because we do have a great community here we could utilize. Yeah, absolutely. And one thing I will say about Dufferin County, and I've, I've said it a lot of times, is um, we're a very supportive community. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's, of course, there's competition, and we, we all compete in different things that we do for work and whatever, but I think that uh, there's organizations that will support other organizations even though the, the goal is to fundraise for both of them like you know there's the, the collaboration between mm -hmm people in this community um, I think sets us apart from a lot of other communities. I we, agree. Yeah and we've noticed that right from the beginning we you know we've been talking to different uh, you know businesses in town and, and different art organizations and exactly as you're saying we get, we're getting a lot of support and a lot of people that want to help and contribute uh, you know in their capacity as well mm -hmm. so I 100% agree with you. So let's talk about a film festival. I've never personally been to a film festival, and I know you you, you basically touched um, Christine on and what to expect. But let's talk about. We're well, I'm going to go in two different directions in just mm -hmm. a minute. But let's talk about what um, what it would mean to somebody to come out. What would 
you know, what would the experience be? Do you want me to touch on it? You okay. touch on that. Yeah, because <laughs> and then you can touch a little yeah. bit on the festival experience. So sure. um, for this festival for this year, we planned it for two days. I would love to do more because I would love to increase the capacity to collaborate with other artists and other uh, workshop abilities and things like that to really grow people's skills here too. Mm -hmm. This year what we're going to do is we're going to have a red carpet event. Mm -hmm. It's going to be at the Opera House. Uh, we're going to host the films there. We're going to have an opening night of films or feature film mm -hmm. depending on what's submitted. And then afterwards there'll be a social event that's planned uh, that will be really exciting. It's actually, <laughs> I, can, I guess I could say it now. Mm, yeah. um, Bluebird has agreed to come on board to host this event. And we have actually a really special location for it with Bluebird that we'll okay. be announcing later once it's all confirmed. And then on the Saturday, we're doing a full day of events with workshops, uh, breakfast events that people can network or just talk about film, mm -hmm. um, whether it be a filmmaker or somebody interested in it. And then we have three windows of films that day that are all red carpet. You can come get your picture taken nice. as you walk down the red carpet and then come experience Canadian film. And we're focusing on Canadian mm -hmm. film and especially Ontario film. Yeah, and I, and I think that's absolutely uh, amazing as well because, I mean, you, you hear about different things and you've got people coming in from all over and it, it's um, focusing on Ontario, focusing on our local community and the filmmakers there. And being somebody who's never been to a film festival, I mean, it, it's intriguing. I think it's like it's something that I'm like, oh, that would be fun. Not to mention going on the red carpet because I'm all for getting dressed <laughs> up and going out. But, um, but just being able to go out there and support Mm -hmm. um, those particular people. So, Christine, tell me, why is this important for Dufferin County? I think it's important for Dufferin County because there's so much to offer here. So, first of all, we have a lot of talent here. So, obviously, they can put films together, they can submit, um, and uh, we'd love to be able to showcase any local uh, talent. Uh, but the other thing is, Dufferin County is gorgeous, and we want to bring filmmakers here to show them that we've got a lot to offer in this community. We'd love to make it a film hub. Uh, we're not that far from um, many of the, you know, big filming areas in, mm -hmm. in uh, Ontario, and, and Dufferin County needs to be uh, thought of and, and considered for that. Um, it brings a lot of industry to the town. It brings a lot of economic development to the town. So it, it's, uh, yeah, so it's, we want to bring filmmakers here to show them the area. We want to showcase local talent and, and as well as Canadian talent. Uh, the other thing I just want to add, about back to the festival experience mm -hmm. is another really cool component of it is when you go and watch the film um, it's great for the audience because we are going to be hosting talks afterwards okay. so the filmmakers will actually be there and it'll give the audience a chance to ask questions um, because actually the filmmaking process is quite involved um, from start to finish uh, quite often um, there should be a movie about making the film. <laughs> Is that the whole other story than the one that you see on set? Uh, so it's really fascinating, and it gives a lot of insight to uh, you know filmmakers that are in the audience to give them some tips and tricks on on how to get their uh, project made. But also not even just for a filmmaker, but a person who's into film um, or who you know. My mom and I. I brought my mom the very first film festival I went to. I brought my mom. My mom has no interest in making films. But it was really fascinating to learn, to see the film, a film that you might not normally see at a movie theater, mm -hmm. something that's different, and then to hear more uh, the filmmaker talk about making it. It, it really creates a full uh, experience. It's, it's, it's a really interesting experience. And really, not just that, but I think that also um, what people find fascinating that aren't necessarily in the industry is meeting the actors, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. meeting the oh, directors, absolutely. Yeah. you know, talking to them in person after seeing them act right. on a screen is such an experience for people. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm, I'm, I'm a big supporter of Theatre Orangeville, and mm -hmm. so it's, it's the live performance, that sort of thing. And that's when you always see the best responses, you know, when the actors have come out mm -hmm. after opening night and they have that opportunity to, to meet people. And, um, and then just looking at film, you know, I, I will say, like, I love, I'm a movie watcher. Like, mm -hmm. I, my, when I have downtime, I just want to have the experience of putting on a movie and mm -hmm. just kind of enveloping yourself in that experience. And then, I mean, if I were, well, there's some actors I would love to meet, um, but <laughs> <laughs> we're not going there. That's not that show. Um, but I mean, just having that opportunity to, to learn about the processes and, 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 and how it happens mm -hmm. because it's not just a matter of pointing a camera. Like there's just, mm. there's so much more involved. There's so much art involved with it. I mean, 
you don't even think about like even just getting power for the film is like a, you know it's just it's you don't even think about it like mm -hmm. it, but that's a huge job right you know lighting light I mean you know <laughs> that could be good lighting bad lighting you know lighting is a whole craft on its own mm -hmm. so yeah there's so many components that go into making a film and and yeah so yeah and I just like the sound everything mm -hmm. like it, all, all, it all has to come together right absolutely and and, and, and for the filmmaker to be happy and then for those people because what you want is to have that experience, right? Like you want to, like I want to shut my mind off mm -hmm. and not think about all the millions of things that I need to do, and I just want to live in the experience of watching whatever I'm watching. So, and it's the actors too, because they immerse themselves mm -hmm. in that character, yes. and you watch them on screen, and we all know they're they're actors. But ex experiencing talking to them afterwards mm -hmm. about their role and how they felt and what they went through to get into that character mm -hmm. can be a real experience as well, and asking those questions. Yeah, because I mean, quite often, I mean, their character is nothing like their own personality, yes. right? So, mm -hmm. how do you envelop that person and, and just become that person? And I mean, I think it's fascinating. I'd love to do it, but I don't <laughs> think I have an acting bone in my body. But so, that's why <laughs> Kelly is absolutely amazing in this role, and because she's an actor herself, she's a filmmaker, um, and she's an event manager. So to, for Kelly to be at the helm of this, it makes complete sense mm -hmm. because she gets all different aspects as a performer, as a you know production person. She she's you know a director, uh, producer as well, and and then and then bringing that event management experience because she's worked on you know really incredible film festivals. So she, we're very lucky in Dufferin County to have someone as ex and I'm not just kissing your butt. <laughs> but she's, no, but she's so experienced, so it makes complete sense for Kelly to be at the 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 helm of this. To, uh, as the festival director to, to bring this to Dufferin County. We're very lucky to have somebody charging uh, forward with this. Thanks. <laughs> well, I, and I think I, I, I applaud you both and everybody involved in the process um, because this is something that I don't think people will have thought would be coming to Orangeville anytime soon or Dufferin County anytime mm -hmm. soon, uh, for sure. Um, so just a quick thing. I wanted to talk about, um, we, we didn't really talk about where. Oh. Or when, 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 when. We talked about yeah. where, but we didn't really talk so about when. It'll be August 9th and 10th, mm -hmm. primarily focused around uh, Theatre Orangeville or the Orangeville Orange Opera Bowl. House. Mm -hmm. um, so we've coordinated with people like the BIA because we know the market is on at that time, right? Mm -hmm. When we'll have some films going in and out. So there's still things that are happening, activities happening in town around when we're doing this. And then the Friday will be at Bluebird, mm -hmm. uh, and that'll be announced further details. Mm -hmm. And then the Saturday night, there'll be a gala event as well with the awards, and that will be confirmed on the venue. But mainly it'll be focused around Orangeville for now. I know it's a Dufferin County Film Festival, and we want to see it spread and grow. Right, out. you have to start somewhere. But we have to start somewhere. Yeah. And if we overdo it, then it'll be too much for the first year for capacity, yes. so. Yeah, being an event planner myself, I completely understand that when you st you've got to start at one point yeah. and then you've got to grow from there yes. and then how you can help um, everybody grow is uh, number one you need to spread the word um, you need to go on social media there's nothing there's no tickets yet to buy there's nothing there's the details are starting to come out um, it, it's not until 2024 in August but um, you can do your part by helping make people aware that's what I'm trying to do and make <laughs> to help make you aware so we can spread the word to make this um, something of um, uh, high heights to, uh, for Dufferin County that uh, we can definitely be proud of. Yeah, and that's what we'd love to see. Like we really, we know that the capacity is there for this event. Um, you know, having talked to the Dufferin Arts Council and their new executive director, um, having talked to David Naren and met with so many people that are very supportive mm -hmm. of this event, can see yep. the capacity here. Wonderful. We are not done talking about this, <laughs> so don't you go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> This program is brought to you by Ignite TV. Now you're in command. Visit rogers.com for more details. Hey, I'm Chef Corey Dern, host of a show on Rogers TV Georgina called Cooking with Corey. Join me bi-weekly for brand new episodes where I teach you not only what to cook, but how to cook. On this show, we have cooked almost everything. Things like Japanese udon noodles with tofu, chicken on the rocks, zucchini fritters, and even grilled cheese. <laughs> There's only one thing missing, and that's smell vision That's Cooking with Corey, right here on Rogers TV Georgina. Hi, 
I'm Jennifer. And I'm Allison. Coming up on the next episode of The Parenting Show, we're talking about birth order and how it affects your personality. And how it can affect your parenting. That's only on Rogers TV. Welcome back to Different Life. If you're tuning in, you're tuning in at a great time. And I always say that because it's always a great time here on Different Life. Um, but we're going to continue to talk in a, about an event, uh, the Dufferin Film Festival, that's coming to Dufferin County in 2024 in August. Joining me, we, I'm not even going to say names. These lovely <laughs> ladies are joining me because I've already made that mistake earlier. Um, but I wanted, I wanted you guys to stay on and I wanted to talk more about this event because there is a writing contest. Yes. And I would love for you ladies to tell me all about it. We are extremely mm -hmm. excited about this. So with the launch of the festival, um, we are announcing a screenwriting competition that is locally driven. So we're looking for local writers. They do not have to be experienced in screenwriting. They just have to have that will to want to try. Okay. And they are going to submit their screenwriting, their, their mini films basically, mm -hmm. and two are going to be selected to be pr fully produced into oh, full production. Amazing. And they will premiere at the film festival. That is an, a, an incredible opportunity mm -hmm. for local artists, for sure. So we are actually hosting a workshop in Shelburne, dates to be announced uh, in November, though, uh, where if people are experienced in writing or aren't and they want to know how to form it into a film script, mm -hmm. they can go there and learn and ask the questions. And then hopefully by Dece the end of December, we'll see all these submissions come in and be able to pick some winners. These will be um, basically micro yeah. shorts. Five minutes or under. Okay. Yeah. Short and films. so when they produce film, whoever gets selected will be able to come on set and experience their production happening. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is a phenomenal experience, especially for people who are aspiring or, or have never tried any, but want to try it mm -hmm. and just haven't had that opportunity. This is um, a great opportunity for them to, to give that a try. So I know you said that there is no experience what uh, necessary, um, but what about ages? So the age range actually we have a youth category. Okay. And then we have an adult category, mm -hmm. correct? So it's, yeah, all ages and then a youth category. Okay. Okay, so everybody and anyone that has has either written something that has never been put out, you might need to shorten it a little bit, you might need to lengthen it a little bit, um, or was have just thought about doing it. Like I think that's the not like a amazing opportunity for people to do it. It's mm -hmm. really actually amazing what you can create. Like I saw a short recently that was online, and it was a set in space, and they literally had just set up a set in their garage. And with lighting and some effects, they made it look like somebody was in a rocket in space by yeah. themselves. And it looked phenomenal. And I'm like, this can be done. So it's not impossible, but we are asking people to be a little bit realistic in terms of what the script in, in <laughs> right. develops. Like I, I, I don't know if I can get elephants here, <laughs> but I'll try. Right. <laughs> you so know? Generally, a script is uh, a page, uh, one page is one minute. Okay. So we're looking for around five pages um, or under. And uh, yeah, so five minutes or under. For, um, so yeah, micro short film. Yeah, and they'll be judged based on like, is it a compelling story? Mm -hmm. Is it interesting? Mm -hmm. You know, did they get the beginning, middle, and end of it basically out? And the critics that are looking at those scripts will choose the final two. So, and topic is not, you can write about any topic, fiction, nonfiction. Yeah, um, more fiction. We're, we were more aiming fiction. towards a fiction, fiction yeah. storyline, okay. mm -hmm. um, just because we can't fact check anything that's being created. Understood. But yeah. uh, but we're really open to the topic and where it goes, and we I can't wait to see what people mm -hmm. submit. I know. I wish I could be a part of that because that sounds so very interesting. Like just to see what people people create. Now, Christine, you are a filmmaker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a filmmaker. And what well. type of films do you make? Um, well, <laughs> so uh, I just uh, completed um, my short film called Food for Thought, and it's a drama, uh, and it's uh, based on the topic of food insecurity. So it was inspired. I was a, a volunteer with the Orangeville Food Bank, and uh, so it was inspired from uh, my time uh, volunteering at the Orangeville Food Bank. Oh, that that sounds very. Interesting. <laughs> She's being very. Yeah. She's not saying it all because she is currently, the film's currently touring around festivals and doing very well, <laughs> very well. <laughs> she wasn't going to toot her own horn. Not at all. <laughs> Well, but no, well, congratulations for that. That is, that is definitely something. I'm a huge supporter of uh, the Orangeville Food Bank. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, they do so much, and uh, it was very, uh, you know, 
the um, volunteers are very inspiring and uh, as well as Heather Hasty, executive director. So yeah, when I got in, it was like something needs to be told because, uh, you know, food insecurity or the, basically it's on the rise. The need for the food bank sadly is on the rise. Mm -hmm. And I just thought I need to make a story to show who's actually using the food bank. Yeah. And I, and I mean, I, Heather has been on the show mm -hmm. multiple times. We've toured their new location. We've mm -hmm. done many, many things with her. And I know her goal is to be out of a job one day so that mm -hmm. people aren't going to need food. But um, I don't think people realize um, and we're getting off topic, but I'm mm -hmm. just going to say it quickly. I don't think people realize that the person living next door for you could very well be going to the food bank. You it, don't it, know. It, people often think that it's somebody that's homeless and just no, unemployed, exactly. and that's so not it. And with the rising cost of everything right now, uh, there's more and more people that need it. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, so we're going to go back to I'm going to link it back to the, yeah, yeah. I'm going to link it back. So, <laughs> so my experience as a filmmaker is one of the hardest parts is getting the funding to make your film. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's why this screenwriting contest is absolutely amazing, because you can write the script and then it'll actually get made and uh, the winners for the two winners mm -hmm. but that's the hardest part you well writing it is really hard there's it's there's so many different components but writing is hard um and then but then to, you know you have this great script now what well it's really hard to get funding there's not a lot of uh, available funding mm -hmm. so to have an opportunity to write and get your film made is so valuable to a filmmaker um, so yeah so I uh, yeah this is absolutely so it's uh, Nick um, from uh, Rose Digital Media um, he is uh, partnering he's mm -hmm. sponsoring, he's sponsoring and partnering, and partnering. Yeah. to do this so um, he'll bring he'll pay his crew mm -hmm. to come on board to shoot the film um, and then host the writer of course on set mm -hmm. show them through the casting process and get them to experience mm -hmm. what it's like Mm -hmm. post you know writing your film what does it and maybe inspire people to keep going in that direction mm -hmm. yeah and I, uh, th you actually led me right to where I wanted to go and I'm gonna ask you ladies both the same question um, there are people that are watching or people that are watching that know somebody who um, you know has dreams of being in the film industry so I'm gonna ask you ladies for some advice uh, for people who may not have ever written anything but really want to do it or have started to write it but are doubting themselves um, what kind of advice would you give them do you want to start this? No, you start. <laughs> I, got, I, I still feel like I'm emerging so myself, so it's like, oh my gosh, someone wants advice from me. I, <laughs> like, well, I'm I mean, still with acting, I've got yeah. lots of advice. Yeah. But um, with writing, I'd say that, you know, there's a lot of risks. There's a lot of writers out there. And the reason I know that is because being in film production now, we're constantly handed scripts mm -hmm. um, of people trying to be creative. I would love to see more young people mm -hmm. kind of delving into the world. And it's not to discourage adults or anything or mature right. people. But I would love to see more young people mm -hmm. delving into the world of script writing and try their hand at it a little bit. And then I think the best advice I can give is always once you have it finished, cut it. Cut right. things, cut lines, cut words, yeah. and think about how the image will portray the story. Mm -hmm. And it's so important to do that, especially with the style and the way things mm -hmm. are shot now, really. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that anybody that's out there that's interested in writing of any age for this com competition, just consider once you've written it, trying to cut down things that are just don't need to be Extra, said, they're yeah. erroneous, and really try to tell that story visually mm -hmm. in your and with your mind, because a great story can be told even without words, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, absolutely. I think that's amazing advice because, I mean, for me personally, not that I'm going to enter the contest, I, I'm not quite, that's not my thing, but um, for me personally, just being able to narrow things down sometimes mm -hmm. is that challenge, right? Editing. You, you feel like you want to give so much more information, like you feel like you need to tell yeah. the, the backstory of the backstory to get to where you want to be, but if you mm -hmm. do it properly, you don't yeah. need to go that How far How do you back. say more with, with, with less? less. And, and that's really micro shorts. Yeah. So micro shorts. Um, so actually, my partner and I, Nick and I, had submitted a film um, that we actually filmed during COVID with three people in the house. Uh, and we said, oh, we'll just submit some film festivals. And it actually ended up winning an award um, with the Black Magic Film Festival in California, <laughs> which is an Oscar, not what mm -hmm. is it, like an Oscar qualifying mm -hmm. festival. So we were okay. shocked. But that was a micro short. It was literally just the middle of the story. Mm -hmm. It was, you know, you didn't know my backstory. I was an actor in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my backstory, the other character's backstory, all that information didn't need to be told. 
because it's a micro short, you're just diving into the key critical moment okay. of the story. And there's a lot of great short films that do that. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see more of them. I can't wait to see the scripts that come out, really. <laughs> I so. think some advice, though, is if you want to try it, try it. Don't be afraid. Get it out on paper. You know what? It, to be honest, it's going to be garbage to start but you keep at it and you ask people keep asking people for advice um, you have to be true to yourself mm -hmm. um, and you know and you can take advice or leave advice but you know just start that's the hardest part just start it'll start flowing and you can always edit it you can always change it you know and do you recommend having somebody else read it and edit it oh, as yeah. well yeah. yeah because you get so attached to it and it's like yeah, it, and also it's like when you let someone read it, it, I have children, so it's like letting, you know, releasing your children out to the world. Like mm -hmm. it, it really feels that emotional because it's so personal, um, because it's your thoughts, it's your feelings, right? And and so it, it is hard, but it yeah, you do need to do that. Yeah, definitely and, need to have someone to look at it. And I'm an editor. So yes. I, <laughs> don't, I don't write. I, I'm a very, She's very good. harsh editor. Mm -hmm. um, so I took a little while ago, took a, like a 30 page script, knocked down to 10 pages. Wow. <laughs> and it was very hard sitting down with a writer to say, this is why, and you know, multiple meetings. But once they saw the final script, they got it. Right. That the whole story was right there in that meat and potatoes. You don't need to, to say all this extra, mm -hmm. right? And uh, I think that's where the richness comes in a short film, in a micro short especially. Mm -hmm. So we are all very excited about the Dufferin Film Festival coming here. Um, so if you're not a writer and you're, and you're not participating and you, you want to just watch whatever, but how can other people get involved? Do you need volunteers? Mm -hmm. Because this strikes me as something where you're going to need yes. lots of volunteers. <laughs> Absolutely we do. So uh, <laughs> we actually have a posting on Volunteer Dufferin right now um, for a volunteer coordinator. We'll probably have a few more going up there. But even if somebody wants to get involved just for, say, a few hours or an hour here or there, mm -hmm. um, absolutely more than welcome. Um, you know, if they're at the show, then they'll get to see the show for free. Or if they're at the social mm -hmm. event, then they'll be there, right? So it's a great way to get involved and also help out the Dufferin Film Festival and support it in its first year. Yeah, and I think that's really, really important because, you know, we talked a little bit about spreading the word and sharing on social media and keeping an eye out for things that are happening. But other ways that you can help is donating your time because mm -hmm. not everybody has funds to donate. Not everybody has, you know, days or hours of, upon end to donate, but you can um, donate your time to, to help and uh, just be a part of the mm -hmm. experience. Absolutely. And, and even uh, aside from that, just ex exactly what you said, like sharing on social media, especially mm -hmm. in the first year um, of events, of any events. And mm -hmm. there's many events in Orangeville and in Dufferin that I think are fantastic, that are just getting off their bridges. The best thing we can do as a community is share these events, tell other people about them, share their posts, like their posts, because those will drive more people to the events and make them more successful and give us even more to do here, mm -hmm. which is wonderful. Well, that is absolutely amazing. <laughs> Ladies, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. Thanks thank for you. having us. It was definitely my pleasure. And uh, stay tuned for more information. Make sure you're checking out um, all of the uh, social media um, platforms that I, we, we posted for you. And thank you for joining us. Until next time, bye-bye for now. <laughs>
that I don't look the part. But to me...